data can come in many different types. You need to know the correct words to put them into the correct data categories, so to speak. We need to know about continuous data, uh, which is related to quantitative data and categoric data, which is related to qualitative data. We also need to know about sketch graphs. So quantitative data is data that uses numbers. So if we look at any of these quantities, age, height, mass, volume, temperature, or percentages, the answer that we will gain from this data will be in numbers. Continuous data can be any number, whether it's got a decimal point, whether it's got a plus or a minus in it. For example, this is the annual mean temperature of planet Earth. So if you look at the centigrade scale um, around the equator, we're going between 20 and 30 degrees. So that is a number. It can also be a minus number temperature, because if you look at Antarctica, it's getting close to minus 40, minus 50 degrees. Now, the only time data would be a number but not be continuous would be for something which has to be a whole number. For example, the number of siblings you have. You can't have a quarter of a brother or a number of pets. You can't own minus 0.25 of a dog. Uh, that would be uh, discrete numbers. But continuous data can be any number, plus or minus or with a decimal point, and it's a type of quantitative data uses numbers. Uh, Quantitative data is viewed in line graphs because sometimes looking at a whole lot of numbers on a table can be quite difficult. So we like to show things in a graph so we can see what's happening over time. So for example, this is the population of the UAE since 1960 to 2010. It's risen to 9.2 million in 2012. Here's the data of how pretty much all of my work goes. Uh, the amount of work I get done at the start of the project is enormous. And then I have a lull before I go crazy at the end, much like some of you do, I guess, and try and get it all done. So probably best not to follow that model. So when you're collecting data, you need to plot a line of best fit. You do not join the dots unless it's a motion graph. So we'd, uh, you would have your axis and you would plot your points, but you do not join the dots. You'll end up with a really weird shape there. You go for what the line looks like. Now, to me, that looks like a bit of a curve. So I would draw a line of best fit. If I've got any weird results or any anomalies, I would circle them and ignore them and not include them in my line of best fit. Qualitative data or categoric data is named. For example, your name is categoric data. So you could be called Dave, Stephen, Mohammed, Susan, whatever it is. Uh, your eye color is a name, it's not a number. Your nationality is something that's described and it's categoric or qualitative data. Uh, eye color would be an example. And you represent qualitative or categoric data in a bar chart. Always plot a uh, don't plot a line graph, that's a bit of a mistake there, and plot a bar chart. A sketch graph is a simple graph. All it is designed to do is show the relationship. You don't need any numbers. So it's just a general shape or pattern that you want to see. And you need to name the axis, and then you need to draw a line, no matter what the line may look like. But you don't need to put in any numbers. So for example here, if I was looking at the light intensity as I move towards a source, so if I'm measuring from zero here, as I increase the distance away from the ruler, uh, sorry, away from zero, my light intensity would drop as you get further away from a light bulb, it gets dimmer. So that would be the relationship I would get. Another example would be uh, if I increase the voltage the current will increase directly proportional manner if I'm using a resistor for Ohm's law. Thank you.